Well, good morning, Kids Life. Good morning, kids. Good morning, families. My name is Pastor Beth, and I am excited for church with you guys today. We are starting a brand new series, and it is called On the Farm. So I got all my farm stuff, and I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to actually head out of the church building. I've loaded up my truck. I've got my Bible for church. I've got, I've got tools. I've got, I think this is a pitchfork. I, I think I'm good to go. And we're gonna be on the farm and we're talking about the fruit of the spirit. For the next few weeks, we're gonna be talking about the fruit of the spirit and how we can grow the fruit of the spirit. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> Seriously, what does that mean? So do us as Christians, if, if we've made Jesus the leader of our life, does that mean that I grow a apples out of my armpits? Like, <coughs> it doesn't smell like apples in there. <laughs> do I have strawberries coming out of my ears or, or corn growing out of the top of my head? What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, for the next few weeks, we're gonna be learning about what does it mean to be growing the fruit of the Spirit in our life. When we have made Jesus the leader of our life, how do we grow the fruit of the Spirit in our life? You know, when you put an apple seed in the ground and you, ooh, I got some water in here. <laughs> you put your apple seed in the ground and then you water it with a little bit of water and it gets sun and the earth does its thing. What happens? It gets water, it gets sun that apple seed starts to grow and it grows into a tree and it grows and it grows and it grows and then before you know it you have an apple tree and what grows on an apple tree when you've planted an apple seed in the ground do bananas grow on that tree are you walking up to that tree going huh I wonder what's gonna be growing on this tree I planted an apple seed but I wonder what we're getting it's getting a little windy on the farm over here what are we gonna get Am I gonna get bananas? I don't think so. We're gonna get apples on our apple tree. That's what we're gonna get. But you know what? When you have made Jesus the leader of your life, when you made him the leader of your life and you give your life to Jesus and the Holy Spirit lives inside of you, you say, this is my heart, you can have my heart and now Jesus is living inside of me and we water it, not with water or sunshine, but we water it with the Bible, the most amazing book ever written, and we read God's stories, and we spend time in prayer and talking to Jesus, and we go to church, and we listen to worship songs, and we sing to him, and we water what was planted inside of our heart. What grows in our life is the fruit of the Spirit. We're gonna be talking about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control for the next few weeks, and today, we are going to be talking about the fruit of love. We are gonna be growing love in our life. I hope you are ready for this adventure. Get ready, we're on the farm, up and at them, let's go.
clearing. Turning, turning, clapping, snapping, spinning, grinning. Hey, let's go! <laughs> Rise and shine, everybody. Hey there. Time to get up and at them here on the farm. I'm up and I'm at them. So she'll be spending some time with us here on the farm. There are some rules that you need to know about farm living. Rule number one, if someone offers you a cow pie, take my word for it, it's not delicious. Steer clear. Rule number two, be careful when you feed the goats. They'll eat anything. Rule number three, always leave trail markers when you hit the cornfield. It's a maze out there. Rule number four, never, ever, ever try to put socks on a rooster. Leave that to the professionals. In all seriousness, there is one thing of utmost importance while you're here. So make sure you listen real good. The one thing of utmost importance is learning to spend time each day reading God's Word. That's how you hear from God. Personally, we like to get up first, first thing, thing in, in the morning. morning and take our Bibles to a nice quiet place with a glass of warm milk. I like chocolate milk. While you're here, we want to help you learn what God's Word says about the fruit of the Spirit. Mm, I love fruit. The fruit of the Spirit are all the good things God grows in our hearts to make us more like Him. In fact, there's a song we like to sing that helps us remember the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is not a coconut. The fruit of the Spirit is not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit is not a banana. The fruit of the Spirit is not a banana. If you want to be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit is not a lemon. The fruit of the Spirit is not a lemon. If you want to be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit is not a watermelon. The fruit of the Spirit is not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Hmm. So good. That was good. Yes, it was. The first thing we're, we're going to talk, talk about, about is love. 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 That word might gross some of you out. It might remind you of slimy kisses from grandma. Or Valentine's Day at school. But there's more to love than that. To find out what love really means, we need to look at 1 Corinthians 13. Yep, according to that passage, it doesn't matter what we say or believe about God or really even what we do if we don't have love in our hearts. In other words, if we say something nice to someone, Hey, uh, I really like the way that shirt looks on you but we don't really have love for them in our hearts, our words really sound more like this. That was bad. Yep. Here's a few signs that you might not have the 1 Corinthians 13 kind of love in your heart. You want things that you don't have. You go around thinking you're better than others. You demand that your way is the right way. Your attitude is always me first. You like to remember all the wrong things that other people do. You celebrate when others are down. If we just described you, there's hope. God can put love in your heart. This is how you can know if you're full of love. You're glad when people tell the truth. You put up with anything. You always trust God. You always look for the best in everything. Basically, love can be summarized like this. Love, love is, is putting, putting others, others first. If you remember that and do it, you'll love others like God does. Well been real and it's been fun in fact it's been real fun until next time y'all remember to keep loving each other and don't forget the farm rules <laughs>
Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Howdy y'all, get ready for the tractor race. Pick the color of the tractor you think is fastest. Tractors, start your engines. Well, that was fun. I had a blast with Up and Adam on the farm. You know, God's doing a work in our hearts. And today we're learning about love and love is putting others first. You know, they mentioned 1 Corinthians 13. And I just wanted to jump into the Bible, God's Word, the most amazing book ever written, and see what God's Word has to say about love. In 1 Corinthians 13, look, I'm in the New Testament, almost all the way to the back of the Bible. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 says, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not want what belongs to others. It does not brag. It is not proud. It does not dishonor other people. It does not look out for its own interests. It does not easily become angry and it does not keep track of other people's wrongs. Man, love is more than just a kiss from your grandma. A love is more than just a Valentine's card. You know, love is from God. And when we have Jesus planted inside of our heart, we're all called to show love to God and love other people. And that's how we can have the fruit in our life. You guys, I had a blast with you today. I still have some songs that I wanna sing with you, but I would love to close in prayer with all of you guys. Dear Jesus, we love you. God, I ask that you help us grow this fruit in our life. Help us love you and love other people more. God, I give you permission to grow the fruit of love in my life. And in your name we pray, amen and amen. Well, I had a blast with you guys. I'm so glad and so proud of you guys that you are tuning in for church, even if you're at home or no matter where you find yourself. I had a blast with you guys on the farm. I will see you guys next week. Bye. We are young, we are young, we will lead the way. Show the world, show the world, we are here to stay. We are young, we are young, we will lead the way. Show the world, show the world, we are here to stay. Set an example. And I'm answering questions right We confess we are blessed by the hands of Christ Trying to be a lighthouse, not a candlelight huh. So we new kids springing up Show the world with this news that we bringing up Dudes are confused because we usually sing it But it's all about God Set Who an example trust. By what you say By what you say
Fight for 